professional boxing debut. This is our semi-main event of the evening. Four cricket rounds in the heavyweight division above 90.71 kilos. It is Purcell in the black trunks. Gallon in the blue of New South Wales. He's a huge unit. Ooh. Here comes Gallon looking for an early first round knockout. I figured this was going to be fireworks, but unbelievable start. No feeling up process at all. Have a look at Purcell, mate. He, he, he is a dead set mini David too, or isn't he? He's a machine. Gallon whacking away on the inside, oh. ripping the body apart. A big left hook from Paul Gallon. Purcell wears it, wears it well. He did. It shook him for a second, but he was back in the game within, you know, a split second. Herman Purcell plays rugby league for the Toowoomba Clydesdales. He's just 19 years of age. He'll be a big boy when he grows up. Yeah. <laughs> He's watched Paul Gallon for a number of years and marvelled at his skill on the rugby league field. And tonight, he's looking to punch holes through him. Oh, beautiful jab from Gallon. But a good understanding of the industry and a good basics. Oh, the Gallon has been dropped. Straight right hand, there's his receipt with 90 seconds remaining in the round. I'll tell you what, Purcell is tough. He got hit with that big left hook and sh sh shuddered for a second and then was straight back in. You're right, walk Barry. Walked into yep. a right hand there and never blinked. And then and then launched a massive left hook to put Gallon down. Yeah, he's, a, he's like a mini tour. Gallon ducked under the left hook nicely. Moves into a nice shoulder there. I think he's on the rugby field. <laughs> well, he is with another rugby player. Fair enough. Paul Gallon dropped in the opening round. Purcell oh. launches himself for a second time. The result wasn't the same. Gallon looks in superb physical condition here. He, yeah, always, he really does. He always is. He's a fabulous trainer. And that's what's probably um, been testament to his recovery here. Yes, he was yes. shot real bad and his fitness got him, kept him in the fight. Here he goes, marching ahead and throwing plenty of shots. Paul Gallon still trying to clear the cobwebs with 30 seconds remaining in this opening round. Dropping right hand from Gallon. Purcell walks through it and throws that overhand right hand bomb. Uppercut from Gallon. Pretty rough in there. Very rough. Look, if there was a dollar thrown for every big punch thrown tonight, there'd be a lot of coins around, wouldn't there? <laughs> I mean, it's, sure. been, it's been major. Last couple of seconds of the opening round. A huge round for Herman Purcell. <laughs> dropping the New South Wales origin captain on his backside. Let's take a look at some of the action from the opening round. Herman almost knocked himself out. So Gallon jumped and offensively looked a million dollars. The left hook there. But then Purcell with a left hook, oh, Gallon wow. onto his backside. It was beautifully timed, was well -timed. beautifully executed. Four seconds down. It was fairly high up, actually. He was, he was going backwards. Probably lucky that it wasn't lower down on the chin. True, true. Round number two, Gallon. Gallon was just warming up, I think. He's come out flying this round. He is going to have fitness on his side. Gallon with a short, beautiful right hand. That catches the attention of Herman Purcell. And Gallon's not fighting like a debutant. I mean, he's come right out. No warming up period. And he's, he's, he's taking some great shots and giving some great shots. His work rate's terrific. He's you know, put punches together. But Purcell, a dangerous opponent. Heavy-handed. Nice Extreme. shot inside. Go. Even though Gallon's on debut, the longer the fight goes, the better it is for Paul Gallon. Oh, undoubtedly, undoubtedly. He's in superb condition, you can see that. Round number two, we are scheduled for just four. Gallon on the scales, weighed in right on 102 kilos. Plays rugby oh. league around the 105 and a half, 106 kilo limit, so he's lighter tonight than what he is on the football field. That will also be to his advantage. Definitely in the sport of boxing. Good body punching from, from 
He is oh, trying Gallen. to break, break down Purcell here. Great body punch from Gallen. Exactly. Well, in a four-round fight, he got the 10-8 against him, so he's got to give everything. Gallen with a beautiful uppercut. A little bit of New South Wales revenge. How good's this bloke's chin, though? Oh, he's taking some great shots. He Purcell is not over. With 90 seconds to go in the round, Purcell comes out swinging. Gallen responds in combat. Shots coming from all angles. Gallon on top, and then Purcell comes back with a couple of balls. <laughs> Went for the fence. They are evenly matched, these two young athletes. Gallon with a bit of blood on the nose, on the cheeks, and swelling on the eyes as Purcell smiles. Oh, he got another couple of right hands, and he says, Mr. Gallon, you can't hurt me. Wow. What is his chin like? I think it's taken a toll. I think so. You can't take shots like that. The round is not over, Purcell thought it was. Well, he's, he's, he's hearing bells. His ears, are ringing. <laughs> his ears are ringing for sure. He's, I think those shots have really taken it out of Purcell. It's just a matter of time here. 30 seconds. He'll be lucky to make this round. Another he's the right hand from Gallon. He's having a... An effect now on the very tough Queenslander big who shot. keeps walking into right hands. Gallon, though, looking for a finish. He's not going to make it, I don't think. He's under. pressing the action. Beautiful yeah. shot from Gallon. Paul Gallon, Gallon. 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 opening up. Got to stop the Purcell. And they are still going. After the bell. And it stacks on in centre ring. Oh, what a fight. What a classic. One hell of a fight. Oh, what a way to finish it. Look at this end. Wow. Gallant was just picking His shots him were great. apart. His shots were really spot on. But, to, but you know, Purcell's credit, what a chin the bloke's got. Oh, hey? Unbelievable chin. <laughs> Look at Purcell just smiling at Gallant who gave his very, very best. They must have took something out of him, though. It took its toll on him. It did take its toll. The referee... Stopped it at the right stops time. Stops the fight. And they are still throwing them. Purcell swings back. Mark Gambon, Brendan Smith get involved. Now, Gary Dean did the right thing there. He was taking far too much punishment. And all the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Gary Dean now pulls our two fighters to centre ring. First of all, a big round of applause for what was two rounds of an absolute war. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in two minutes and 53 seconds of round number two, the referee Gary Dean stopping the fight. Your winner from the blue corner, the G-Train, he is Paul.